What's up everybody, this is Investing Sensei here to bring you episode 116 of the Portfolio Update. So hopefully you guys are doing awesome, I definitely am. It's actually our first video of 2022, I haven't talked to you guys since last year. And uh, you know, hopefully you guys had a great, great uh, holidays. But uh, anyways, I have a couple things I do want to show you guys in this update. Uh, there are some pretty cool things I do have. Uh, so I will be showing you uh, how to calculate your dividend yield uh, of your portfolio, which is uh, pretty awesome. Uh, I actually have some uh, Google scripts that actually will do that for you. So I will be showing you that. And, uh, you know, I will be showing you what I bought, what I sold, any dividends that came in. And then uh, we're going to see how much uh, actually our projections grew. So you'll see that uh, we are currently on the dividend uh, about 3000 per year. So we will see how much this grows by the end of the video because this is going to grow because we continue to dollar cost average into the portfolio as well. Uh, I will be making a video very, very soon on how much we made for the month of December because we are finally in January. So it is time to uh, see how much this quarterly uh, Q4 of 2021 grew. Uh, hopefully we surpass Q3 and then uh, we are off to the races. We're going to see this continue to grow and grow. And then uh, we're going to wrap up the annual dividend, see how much we made for 2021 in total. Uh, we already surpassed the two previous years that we've already been investing so that's very exciting to see and uh, 2022 should be great for these dividends because remember it doesn't matter what the stocks or the you know the portfolio is doing if it's moving up down stagnant the dividends are going to continue to pour in as well you know if i show you this here you'll see that we already have dividends prepared for january and uh, that's actually pretty exciting because these are just going to continue to hit no matter if we have a crash a correction whatever happens or if we continue you know just going on a bull run it doesn't matter we're going to see these dividends they're going to get reinvested and then the following quarter they're just going to pay out more and you know this is a very good way to see that because you see this growing and growing and growing uh, over time and eventually we're going to be able to live off of these but uh, anyways guys uh, you'll see that the portfolio currently is about two hundred and fourteen thousand eight hundred and eighty four dollars and sixty one cents uh, we actually have about a balance cash balance of one hundred and fifty six dollars and seventy eight cents uh, so this will get reinvested uh, Monday morning I'm actually planning to put a trade in this afternoon uh, this is what I like about M1 finance I just go ahead and put in my trades the night before and uh, you know they get executed I don't have to try to pick a price or anything I just want more equity of the companies uh, because long term you know that is what builds wealth and uh, if we look at the value over time if you look at the overall we've been continuing to do that every single week and uh, you know this has paid off you'll see that uh, the trend is just upwards uh, we do have little corrections and like movements downwards uh, this is the crash which seems like a bigger dip from everything else but overall it just looks like a little dip it was a huge crash but uh, we, you know we took that opportunity to continue to average in uh, and if we look for the one quarter guys you'll see that um, right around october we were like around 185,000. we are finally moving upwards and we hit the 200,000. Uh, so the larger the portfolio gets the easier it is to get these uh, capital appreciation gains as well as the dividends because it's a larger larger portfolio so one percent a, a certain percentage is a lot more uh, the more money you have so you know hopefully i actually make a video for you guys uh you know soon on my goals for 2022 uh, i actually want to let you guys know that i might not be able to make a video uh on next week it depends i will be traveling out of uh town and i'm not sure where i'm going if we'll have internet access so uh, i might not make a video but uh, just giving you a heads up but if i do that means i have some internet access and i brought my laptop with me so Hopefully I do have access to it because I don't want to miss a date uh, of video uploads. But uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, go over here to activities. I'll show you everything that happened for this week. And so if we go to the bottom guys, 
You'll see that on the 27th, we got a Lockheed Martin dividend of $80.94. That was a pretty awesome dividend. And, uh, you know, we got went ahead and reinvested that very soon, which I'll show you in a bit. Uh, but on the 27th, we also did one buy, $4.76. And that was NVIDIA. We just reinvested the dividend back into itself. Uh, and then we deposited $100. And then we uh, actually did two buys. So this was the dividend from Lockheed Martin getting back reinvested. And then uh, Target. We bought $100 worth of Target. So about almost half a share of Target. Remember that I was going to continue to buy at Target and actually target started moving upwards after i made that video that i showed you guys it was a great opportunity to buy in the 220 dollars or so because it was trading right around the 200 day moving average which is a, was a great opportunity for long-term investing uh so far i am gonna pay a little bit more for target you'll see that we have about 200 dollars invested now we're up about five percent uh but uh that's right around two hundred thirty-one dollars and forty-four cents, and uh, we have almost one share. And so, yeah, I mean, we've been buying it now, and uh, it's been moving upwards. So, hopefully, we can build out this position because this is such a great company, great business model that I really like. And uh, you know, you should have seen it in Christmas. Uh, Target, man, they were uh, destroying it with sales. I spent quite a bit as well at Target uh, this Christmas season and uh, you know I'm just gonna support the companies I'm invested in but anyways uh, on the 30th guys we did get a dividend from Union Pacific which was $9.76 Union Pacific actually did a 20% over a 20% dividend raise this year which was pretty awesome and you know that dividend snowball just continues to grow larger and larger uh, then on the 30th we did a deposit of 1200 this is just for uh, M1 borrow uh, so we don't really have to go into that but the next one guys on the 31st you guys actually used my referral link you guys signed up uh, so thank you so much for all three people that used my referral link and signed up this was one of the best uh, moves that you did because you got 50% on your investment so m1 was running a promotion so if you signed up with my referral link uh, you would get uh, $50 whenever you created an account using my referral link and then uh, you deposit $100 so that was an immediate 50% return on your money which was pretty awesome uh, so far I have checked the m1 referral links which is in my video description I looked at it before recording this video and it seems that it's still showing up that you could get $50 so if you are interested in signing up uh, maybe consider doing it uh, but you know so far it's showing the $50 and uh, you know if you want to take advantage of it make sure to do it now because uh, they were you know it was supposed to end on the 1st of January but uh, if it still shows that it's $50 that you'll get uh, definitely do it if it shows a different number like $30 or $10 then maybe reconsider but uh, so far $50 is pretty awesome 50% on your money so check it out see if it still shows $50 but thank you so much for all the people that signed up using my referral link I will be reinvesting these I will buy Lockheed Martin or Target so you guys already know what we will be doing with those uh, and then on the 31st uh, we got a dividend from Bank of America of $6.78 uh, this will get reinvested and then uh, deposit on the 31st, we deposited $80. So we did four buys, $89.76. Remember that every time a company does pay us out a dividend, I will contribute an additional $20 just to grow that passive income a little bit more aggressive. Uh, but uh, Union Pacific paid us $9.76, so I added a $20. And then Nvidia, Lockheed Martin, and Bank of America, they paid me out dividends this week. So I went ahead and uh, added an additional $20. So next quarter, we should get a lot more dividends, guys. And uh, you know, it's pretty exciting. Overall, uh, this is pretty awesome. If we go ahead and find out how much we made for dividends this past week, which was completely passive. Uh, we have this green button, Calc adds up all the dividends. And uh, you know, I do have a tutorial for this. If you are interested, 
All I ask is that you subscribe and you hit that bell notification as well. While you're down there, drop a big thumbs up on the videos because it does help out the channel. That is all I ask in return for my work uh, and dedication that I give and I provide these uh, scripts for you for free, guys. So let's go ahead and click calculate. So for this week, guys, we made $97.47 in passive income. We had to do absolutely nothing. So it's very exciting. I can't wait to come back a couple years from now, seeing what we're making a week uh, for the month of December, or I guess the third month, but uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, overall, you know, this was a pretty great week. And then uh, for the holdings, I'm gonna show you this real quick. So it looks like actually nothing showing up the cost basis or anything. So I guess I was not, I'm not gonna be able to show you what I uh, was planning to show you in this uh, update, but I will next time. Uh, but anyways, uh, I guess it is time to go ahead and show you the new feature I showed you on how to calculate your dividend yield, guys. So if we go over here to M1, I guess not M1, but the Google Sheets, you will see two new things, guys. Projected dividend yield and projected dividend yield on cost. So what does this mean, guys? So dividend yield is 1.42% uh, for the portfolio. So this is my current value. So remember that my portfolio value is about $214.00. $884.61. This is my current portfolio value, but remember that I don't have that much invested. If you subtract about almost a hundred thousand, that is what I have invested of my own money. So I have about a hundred thousand or so, a hundred and maybe a hundred and ten thousand dollars that I have invested into the portfolio. So that is my true cost basis. So my yield on cost is 2.5% for my total invested amount so that is a pretty good dividend yield this was so this one right here it was if you were to about to invest the uh, money this is what your dividend yield would be uh, this is my dividend yield because I've been dollar cost averaging I've been investing since 2019 so you'd see the difference that it's a much higher dividend yield and uh, you know the long term in a couple years I hope this is in the double digits maybe not in a couple years but maybe 10 years 15 years from now this is the goal is to, for this to be a double digit dividend yield hopefully uh, because remember that these companies do dividend raises so I'll show you real quick you'll see we got a dividend raise dividend raise dividend raise and a lot of the companies I currently have which are like uh, Apple Microsoft all of these companies do double digit raises which is gonna hopefully grow this much faster and because we're gonna accumulate more shares uh, it's just a pretty awesome snowball that will continue to grow but anyways I finally have uh, this working guys the main reason why I wasn't able to promote it yet was because the way that personal capital has it is that you're able to select multiple accounts and combine them. So let's say you had uh, an account at Fidelity and you had an M1 account and you just want to combine them all and, uh, you know, use that as your projections. Uh, I did not have that working, but now I do. And it's pretty awesome. So let me pull up personal capital and I can show you real quick what I'm talking about. All right, guys, so I'm here in personal capital. Here's the my my M1 account individually. You'll see this green button here. This is an individual account. But if you were to go over here to investings and holdings, you can actually combine your accounts here. So you could do this and then do the drop down and select. Let's say I wanted my. Uh, well, I guess I'll do all accounts. But let's say I want to do my M1 account and uh, let's say my Fidelity account uh, for HSA and then you could do done and this would combine everything for you and uh, you know it would add up all the shares so if you had 10 shares in my M1 account and then 20 shares in my HSA account for Fidelity then it would show up as 30 shares so that's pretty awesome that's what I was actually trying to get working and uh, it's finally working so uh, hopefully when I get back from my trip I will make a tutorial on how you guys can update to this so uh, definitely look forward to that it's working 100% and uh, you know when we get back we're gonna see if this 
well, I guess not one if we get back, but at the end of the video, when we kick off these scripts, we're going to see if this actually grew some. Uh, hopefully it does. So let's go ahead and uh, go over here to dividend payout. I uh, will kick off these scripts to see if anything else got declared this week. So uh, you'll see the coming dividends uh, for this month. So portfolio tools, get latest dividends. Uh, I do have a tutorial for this. It's completely free. All I ask again is that you're subscribed with that bell notification and you drop a big thumbs up on the video so it helps out the channel. Uh, and, uh, you know, it takes a couple seconds and then uh, it wipes everything and tries to find all the latest declared dividends for the companies in our portfolio, which is uh, pretty awesome. So there it goes, guys. And um, it looks like we didn't see anything different. So, yeah, we got Pepsi on the January 7th and then Autry on the January 10th, 14th, American Tower, Legged and Pat, and Relative Income. And then we're going to wrap up January with uh, JP Morgan on the 31st of January, which is pretty awesome, guys. But uh, let's go ahead and go over here to settings. And then uh, we're actually going to delete this. And then uh, we need to jump over to personal capital, grab the latest version of our portfolio, and then we can kick off the script. So let's go ahead and jump over there, guys. All right, guys, so we're here at Personal Capital and I have my M1 account pulled up. You'll see this green button. So I'm going to click on it. All it does is it'll actually grab the latest uh, holdings from my portfolio into the clipboard. And then we can jump back over, right click, pay special values only. And then uh, we have the latest version of our portfolio. We can jump over here to holdings and uh, you'll see this is the old copy of it. So we need to go over here to portfolio tools. And then you click update portfolio holdings. This will use the latest uh, little string that we just pasted. It'll parse it out and uh, it'll show everything. So it'll wipe everything, recalculate everything. And then we can jump over here, guys. And then uh, we'll give it a second. Uh, none of this stuff is being calculated because we are still waiting uh, on this. <laughs> and it looks like it didn't work. So I will have to fix this. I'm not sure why E let me go ahead and see if we can jump this real quick uh e2 looks like i had an issue with this guys well that sucks i will fix this for you though and uh you'll see the yield on cost i'm not sure currently what's going on k3 yeah i'm not sure what uh is actually going on with the cost you know what's going on guys is because remember uh that uh right here in holdings none of this information is showing up so yeah that's the main reason why uh, none of my information is showing up so that kind of sucks for this video but uh it is working i tried it out uh you'll see that previously i was getting this and uh kind of sucks that we can't see how much we grew this but we can see how much we grew the yearly one so three thousand forty nine dollars sixty seven cents versus three thousand forty three dollars and eighty four cents uh so that's about six dollars that we grew it uh, and you'll see that uh, for the month, the week, the day, the day we went up by two pennies and then for the hour, 35 cents still. And then hourly work wage, we actually went up one penny, guys. So remember, this is a 40 hour work week. If our portfolio was to go work these 40 hours, they would get paid at an hourly rate of $1.47. So I guess the portfolio was doing pretty awesome that it got a dividend raise. Uh, I guess not a dividend raise, but it got a minimum wage uh, increase. Uh, long-term goal is to try to see if we can get this the minimum wage that would be pretty awesome but uh i'm sorry about this guys unfortunately m1 is having some issues with uh the cost on yield i, I think they'll, that they'll fix that probably tomorrow and uh i will go ahead and kick this off uh, tomorrow or i'll i'll wait till the next video update and then i'll show you guys this uh, but uh, overall this is working i will be making a tutorial for that and uh, definitely look forward to that let me know in the comment section if you are interested in this uh you know dividend yielding uh for your portfolio i think it's pretty awesome having it automated uh, but uh, anyways if you stuck all the way to the very end be sure to drop a hashtag yield because uh you know this was most of the video for the yield on your portfolio uh, and thanks so much for watching guys be sure that you're subscribed with that bell notification again be sure to drop a big thumbs up on the video it helps out the channel a lot and that is all i ask in return uh, and i will catch you guys in the next video hopefully next sunday i can make a video for you guys and i have internet access but uh, take care stay safe out there bye guys